WFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrial Trade down 59, Nasdaq's off 62, S&P's off 23. Gold, gold contract down $13, trading at 17.62 an ounce. We have silver down 51 cents, 21 dollars, 21 cents an ounce. Light sweet crude down 388, 81 dollars, 71 cents a barrel. It's taking a hit. We'll take a look at that. Copper's taking a hit. That's down nine pennies, 368 a pound. Uh, notes and bonds. The 10-year note down off 19 ticks, trading 112.19. The 30-year off 19 at 125.26. And King Dollar. King Dollar's up uh, 425 ticks, 106.705. Euro's at 103. Yen is out here at 140.24, and the British pound is at 118 to 1 U.S. dollar. We'll get over and take a look at the S&P. Have some nice volatility out here, no doubt. Um, you know, you, you have a lower low. Yesterday we did 68 million. You're going to probably do 68 today. Now you're coming against that 141. Now the problem is, is that you're already into that bar, and anything... You know, this is looking to me like, you know, he's going to try to get to the bottom of that bar and then you get the gap that's open. So, yeah, lighter volumes there, but, you know, yeah, this, 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 that's, yeah, you're not going to go up two points into the close here. So that's saying with me that wants to go to the bottom of the bar. That's how that's looking. Now, it will be lighter volume, so that's just a retracement with lighter volume. We take a look at the Qs, kind of same setup inside the Qs. What do you have with the Qs? The Qs are into the bar. The, the bar that we're talking about Top of the bar is 283. Oh, interesting. The Qs are different. One second. Hold on. Yeah, that's 283.05. The Qs are rejecting that. Yeah, this is going to get interesting, man. There's divergence, though. That's divergence for sure. Um, but guess what? If that was Qs close over that, that's saying that, you know, you're going to build more cars. So that's intriguing because that is, that is there's some divergence. And that divergence is that now the S&P wants to move down versus the Q's want to move higher, and we have King Dollar. So King Dollar, you know, bottom line is that the benchmark here is the 106.281, and right now you're 106.733. Longer it stays over there, the more that it's going to end up doing at least a 0 0.382 retracement, and a 0 0.382 retracement is 109.270, 109 109.2, yeah, 2.72. So. That's what we get. You're going to get more selling pressure on the way down, but it's light volume. So what you want to do is you want to set up your upward volume, you pull back with lighter volume, it could be an ABC structure up. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. <laughs>